How is it going, champs and champettes? Before we begin today's video, I just want to say I hope you all are having a wonderful day, night, or birthday, depending on when you're watching this video. But anyways, for today's video, we have a few topics to cover, such as Neon Wings, how to actually get the Party Royale emotes and use them, and Fortnite statistics on how many people played the game in April, or at least how many hours were spent on the game. Before we get into today's video, make sure to drop a like down below. This is like my fifth time recording the audio, and I keep messing up more and more, so a like would be appreciated. But anyways, let's get into the first topic. Our first topic is about the Neon Wings. If you haven't already, you can log in game anywhere from May 8th at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, which is already passed around an hour and a half ago as of the time of recording this audio, to May 11th at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Now, obviously, you're, you can do the math to figure out what time this is in your time zone by going to Google, typing 10 a.m. Eastern Time to whatever your time zone is, such as GMT or CST and things such as that. But also, as of the time of recording this, there is a Party Royale premiere that will be live at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, which is in around an hour and 20 minutes. So if you go to that, make sure to uh, just hang out, have fun. But anyways, for our second topic, we have to talk about the Party Royale emotes, such as sitting, waving, clapping, cheering, beckon, nodding your head, and much, much more. So, a lot of people think these will be in the item shop, however, after doing more and more research on this, I found out that that wouldn't be the case. So, you know when you go in Party Royale and you have your pickaxe completely removed and instead you have a purple globe? Well, in the game files, that globe is called the Event Mode Activator, and it's what you use in order to focus on things such as the screen which they did make some tweaks to and it seems a little bit different in the most recent update where it's not locked and you have to hold down the button to focus in unless you're in a specific area such as like the big screen area but they plan to in the future have this emote like event mode activator weapon as a way of enabling the special party royale emotes so the special party royale emotes as you can see by the background footage do have a little bit of a glitch to them as you can probably see around the time i was talking about this when meowsles or a buff skin does the phone wave emote the right hand just completely breaks and is totally just weird and interesting to kind of look at in an odd way but, so they're obviously doing more development on that, and they're obviously going to change stuff as we go into the future. It's not always going to stay broken. But, as you guys probably remember, in the Travis Scott event, we had access to three emotes. These are all the Travis Scott-related emotes, and if, even if you didn't own them, you still had access to them. So you could rage, you could headbang, you can do all that stuff even without having access to it, only for the duration of that event. Something similar will be happening with the Party Royale mode as the same three slots will be on the left side of your screen as of right now in the code and it will give you three options to point your finger, to wave your phone, and to shake your head. Now there will also be what they call random emotes which is every other emote such as beckon, cheer, clap, and all that other stuff. And it will be in the emote tab, just like it was during the Travis Scott event, how you can open up the emote tab and it would be in its own category, which during Travis Scott was called event emotes. So yeah, that's how you get it. You don't have to watch, like you don't have to buy it in the item shop. They're completely free. The only sad part about it is that you won't be able to use them in your locker or in Battle Royale in other modes, except for Party Royale. The reason for this is these were specifically made for Party Royale and the emotes themselves are actually kind of stiffly animated so they're not like expertly crafted for every single mode and it'll be super easy for players to spot out, oh hey, that doesn't look right. And while I would love to sit on a mountain in Team Rumble and just watch people sweat build across the map in the circle, that's sadly not going to happen. But anyways, let me know in the comments down below. Did this clear up the inf misinformation going around? Did this help you figure out how the Party Royale emotes will be used as they can only be used in the Party Royale mode and will be given in a special emote selector thing similar to the Travis Scott event? For our last topic, we have to talk about Fortnite statistics. So two days ago, the official Fortnite Twitter account posted that Fortnite now has over 350 million registered players and in April players spent over 3.2 billion hours in game. Now this is interesting because while 3.2 billion hours is an insane amount of time, at least in my mind, maybe it's not for a game as big as Fortnite, it makes me wonder, did they like neglect changing their 350 million registered players in total? 
into something else such as how many players are actively playing in the month of April? Did they do decide to do million registered players in order to not really like disclose to everyone how many people are actively playing the game? Because if they were to do that, that might cause, based on whatever number it is, people to be like, oh, Fortnite is definitely dying based on this statistic. And if we look back at these old events where they said the player count, it was much, much lower. Now, obviously, during the Travis Scott event, they had a massive spike and they mentioned how many people were playing the game. But I still feel like Fortnite games probably had a lot of statistics they could have shared. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think they chose the proper ones to share over registered players and 3.2 billion hours spent in game? Or do you think they should have shared something different, such as how many people are actively playing currently? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, my name is Fire Monkey. There's a premiere in Fortnite in around an hour and 14 minutes. I don't know the exact time because I'm bad at math. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Use code FIRE at gfuel.com to save 30% off your purchase. And I am out. See you guys next time. Peace.